I'm here at Bradley University, where students have just survived a zombie outbreak. During the school's second game of Humans vs. Zombies, students were pitted against each other in a desperate battle for survival. And while the humans were safe indoors, the night belonged to the undead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't you know the zombies? The zombies want to feast. We're gonna kill us some humans. Well, yeah. That's right, you tell them. I'm hungry, I gotta eat. Gonna kill them, gotta get some food in my stomach, man. Nom, I'm gonna nom. make them into zombies before they shoot me in the head. Cut off from support and trapped inside after a mission gone wrong, these humans have to come up with a desperate plan to get through a ring of zombies surrounding the building. You guys come, attack the zombies, and then we'll just stand it's there. It's a nice idea, but if one person stays there and the rest of us are bait them, because they think they were... Uh, they're yeah, one of the odds you guys are going to do this, I think a lot of stuff. And while the game was unfortunately cut short after a student was arrested behind a sorority with binoculars, a two-way radio, and a knife, many students say they enjoyed the experience and can't wait for next semester's game. We caught some kid doing just, like one of our other guys, just pushed another kid out the door and tagged him. That was my favorite part. My favorite humans versus zombies moment would have to be after the mission at the Olin Hall. <laughs> when everybody was outside, after suffering a tragic defeat, and I mooned them. And I mooned them long and good. And they had no rebuttal to that, because they know they got beaten down. By me, personally. We lost our leader. We gained a hero. Dipping to and from Constance and Dingledon every day, and having Frank... Frank was a thorn in the side of many humans. Frank, Frank, trying to jump out from behind. Me and Dean were walking down Barker, trying to get to the gym. Frank comes up out of nowhere behind the car, wheeled around. Didn't even get his two. Thanks to the timely intervention of the police, the humans survived to fight another day, but it remains to be seen who will win the next round. Reporting for Com360, I'm Eric Johnson.